Wait a minute. This is Melkovich. This isn't Warhol. The project Melkovich, 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 it's truly about me paying homage to these 30 plus photographs that over my 40 year career has completely changed the way I look and think about photography. My mind began to think, what if? What if I recreated those images with John Melkovich? John is willing to experiment and has no fear. And when he would get in front of the camera, I would, I would see John with the fullest of confidence transform himself into Marilyn Monroe, Betty Davis, the migrant mother, Salvador Dali, Picasso. Every single set was recreated. You know, the hair and makeup, Randy Wilder who did the hair and makeup. I mean, he researched that hair. I mean, we brought hair in from all over the country and we had to have a seamstress build each of the clothing. We, we took every shot. We needed to dissect that shot, take a look at it and really figure out where was that photographer at that time? What kind of light was he using? My goal was to stay as true to what a photographer could use back then. Most of the time getting ready for each of these shots would be about a two hour uh, time for hair and makeup. And John would study these photographs that we'd put on the mirror and I could see John go there. He would go to that time, he would go to that place and he would become that person. I think one that, that really, really amazes me is the Diane Arbus twins shot. Just to see the difference in, in the mind of both of those twins, you know, one accepting the photographer and actually maybe enjoying the moment a little bit, while the other one showed fear and, 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 and hesitation. Well, John nailed both of those expressions from those twins beautifully. In, in today's world with the internet, we, we are absolutely bombarded with imagery. You know, everyone's become a photographer. Instagram has gone absolutely crazy. It's tough to see all this work come out and most of it with no thought behind it. I was hoping that maybe I might be able to recreate a little bit of awareness again of classic moving iconic imagery. Not just putting images out to put an image out, but let's think about it. Let's think about what we're doing. Let's think about what we're capturing here. Let's have an idea.